Hi and welcome to the video, I'm Dame and this is Dame Over. So recently I've been noticing a distinct lack of people using the support class in Battlefield 1 and I'm consistently finding myself on teams that have only one or two support players and on top of that as well constantly searching for ammo. This has been going on for a little while now so I decided to try and look into why that is and if it might change sometime in the near future. So if you guys find this video useful or entertaining make sure you hit that like button before you go and if you're new around here and want to keep up to date with the rest of my videos then make Make sure you hit that subscribe button too. So let's get to it. In my personal experience and the research I've done there seem to be quite a few reasons why the support class has dropped in popularity so much but before getting into that let's have a look at the usage figures overall so you've got a general idea of what I'm talking about and I've taken my info from battlefieldtracker.com. As you can see this graph only goes back as far as February the 17th but what I'll be talking about in the video extends further back than that as well. You'll also be able to see that I've taken out the grenade, melee, gadget and sidearm options for this particular graph as they aren't class specific. And you may have guessed that the support class is represented by the dark yellow line which is the fourth one down and that its peak is at 17.8% for time spent using the LMGs. The highest out of all four classes is the scout class at 22.5% on April the 16th just to give you an idea for comparison. The other three classes are clearly more popular than the support class and have been for quite some time. The assault class is represented in separate categories for SMG and shotguns so the overall percentage isn't quite exact and should actually be a little bit higher for for the assault. But anyway, why is there such a clear divide between the other classes and the support class? Well, it stems from the TTK patch, is closely related to the meta and is very heavily influenced by playstyle, so it's on these three things that I'll mainly focus on. We'll start with the TTK 2.0 patch. I made a video about it just before the patch with all the specific details in, so if you want to know what they are, I'll leave a link to that in the description. But overall, its purpose was to reduce the time to kill and along with other minor tweaks, was meant to reward players for using weapons within their intended ranges and to create a closer competition between the weapons within each class to try and change the meta. As far as the support class goes, the recoil and spread were increased across the board and with an increase to ADS time and an even bigger punch punishment to accuracy when firing before you aim down the sight, it resulted in the LMGs as a whole being more difficult to use, which sort of moves us on to playstyle and the meta, which at the moment for the support class is the medium fire rate, high ammo capacity LMGs that have a bipod. As it's much harder to move and shoot with an LMG, the player base resorted to a more defensive style by getting into power positions and laying down suppressive fire, which on paper is a good idea and which suits the role of an LMG far more than the run and gun style the BAR and Parabellum are so good at. But this is sort of where the problems began. Because players have been finding the need to stay in fights for lengthy periods of time, the low ammo capacity weapons have become overlooked. And because it's almost now completely necessary to use a bipod as it's difficult to shoot without one, those variants that don't have a bipod are entirely overlooked, like the MG15 Storm, which for a really long time was one of my favourite weapons, but now rarely seems to be used by anyone. This has in turn affected the playstyle of support players, which my friend Get Good Guy made a video about the other day. I'll link to that in the description too, as he's probably going to be far more succinct than I am. The behaviour of the guns on the whole forces you to stay on a rooftop or in a building, staying back from the fight and waiting to catch someone in the open. It's much harder to push in and play the objective actively, as you need to use your bipod as often as possible. This has resulted in a lot of players randomly laying down in the open, aiming at a busy part of the map and just waiting to hold down the trigger. It's a much slower way to play than a lot of players would like, but annoyingly seems the most effective way to use the support class. Get Good Guy and myself did well in the games we were playing support together, we both had 40 plus kills and ended high up the leaderboards, but there were often times where we were just waiting for squads of enemies to come near us just to give us something to do, which is not what Battlefield 1 is about. There's always been a heavy emphasis on playing the objective, but the support class at the moment makes it difficult to do that, and kind of feels a bit boring in its current state. On top of that, I'd often find myself outmatched against the Assault class at long SMG range, which is where on paper LMGs should have the advantage. But the increased aiming difficulty often gave the upper hand to someone using an MP18 for example, as it's just that little bit easier to use. Lastly, there is the Medic class, which has clearly become the meta since the TTK patch. Medic rifles are far more effective over longer ranges than they used to be and have had damage increases too. At mid-range, it's very difficult to compete with someone using the Medic class and on the whole, Medic rifles are easier to use and also add a level of versatility in close quarters that often outstrips options available within the support class. 
Without going into details, it's generally easier and far more viable to use the medic class when you're playing aggressively, and the self-loading rifles lend themselves to a far more proactive and exciting run and gun playstyle than LMGs currently do. Now I'm not saying that the support class is bad or hating on it in any way, I'm actually saying the exact opposite. I really do like the support class and it's still very possible to do very well with an LMG. What I have a problem with is that the support class meta seems to have narrowed instead of being broadened and the playstyle that seems the most effective is slow and not as exciting as it used to be, which to me is a really big shame. I think DICE should take another look at LMGs and how they function, maybe with some minor adjustments by improving damage figures or general accuracy, especially especially at mid-range, more players would be inclined to use them. Unfortunately, it's pretty clear to see why people are turning to the other classes and they are on the whole a lot more fun and after all, that's the whole point of playing video games in the first place. But that's just what I think. What do you guys think about the support class? How do you feel about the medic class meta? Is there a support weapon you think can compete against the other classes? Make sure you let me know down in the comments below. And a quick thank you to those of you who are helping me not get game over by supporting the channel through Patreon. It's because of you guys that I'm able to continue you making content as often as I do so thank you and if you'd like to become a patron yourself I've left the link to my patreon page in the description and I'll also leave it in my pinned comment where if you'd like to you can donate as little as one dollar a month so if you had a good time make sure you hit that like button if you're new around here hit the subscribe button too make sure you've hit that bell button so you can get guaranteed notifications of any new posts feel free to share this video with whoever and wherever you like and until next time that's game over peace Thank you.